so uh, my name's John, uh, I'm a Paralympic athlete, I'm out here in Portugal, it's, uh, it's been a nice few days so far, I got here last Thursday, uh, I'm a sprinter, my class is T42 and I'm out here to train for a couple of weeks. I've been an amputee for <laughs> seven and a half years now or so, I lost my leg in August or September of the, uh, of the year 2000 in a motorcycle accident in Thailand. I just, I was just being a bit of a boy riding on a, on a scooter too fast on a little island um, called Koh Samui. Went around a corner too fast, lost control of the bike and uh, I went down with it and did a lot of damage to my leg in the process when I, when I crashed the bike. And as a result, a couple of days later, I actually had to have, the, have my leg amputated. I've been into athletics ever since I was actually a bit of a whippersnapper from probably about seven or eight years old when I first sort of went to boarding school. Um, was a reasonable little runner when I was a kid, up until about the age of sort of 14. And then all the boys in my years sort of grew around me. And I didn't really sort of grow until I was about 16, so I stuck to hockey. And then uh, as I sort of got into my mid-teens, I wanted to join the army. And that's what my, my plan was before I went away to go travelling. So when I lost my leg, uh, one of those things that I really, really wanted to get back was was the sound of that wind that you get rushing past your ears when you run. Um, and it's kind of that, that feeling, it's that sound that you get under your own steam and uh, that I really missed. And that's what I wanted to kind of get back. So I taught myself to run in about 2002, early 2002, as soon as I had the tools really to do it, the right prosthesis and stuff. Um, and then a couple of years later, in 2004, I had my first ever outdoor competition, my first ever competition as a Paralympic athlete and uh, I did not too bad um, and then subsequent to that the following year in 2005 I started training a little bit more regularly and had my first competition for, for Great Britain in the summer of 2005, it was the European Championships in, in Espoo in Helsinki. Uh, and at that competition, I got my first um, international championship medal. I got a bronze medal in the 200 meters, which was, you know, I was absolutely ecstatic to, to come away with, with a, uh, a medal in my first major championship. So I was pretty stoked. And that was just the fuel for, for going back, getting back on the track, back in the gym, and really starting to sort of take this really, really seriously. So here we are today, and uh, I'm in pretty fantastic shape at the moment. Uh, training really hard, training's going really well. Uh, and I've got a lot to look forward to this year. So this is my coach Daryl. Uh, he's the guy who, uh, who looks after me, gives me all my sessions. Generally keeps me on the straight and narrow. Generally? Generally. Okay. Better than I thought it would be, I have to say. Uh, stayed, uh, stayed nice and controlled. Uh, through the last 50. Um, didn't feel like I was having to change my rhythm at all. Felt pretty strong. Stayed relaxed and stuff, which is exactly, exactly what I want. Lungs are sort of burning a little bit, but um, I think that's the tail end of the cold. A little bit there. But yeah, all in all pretty good. One more set to go. Same as the first one, 60, 140, 60. Um, but all in all feeling pretty good. Pretty good. Time for a drink though, I think. Definitely.